Have gun, will travel. My gun was handcrafted to my specifications. I rarely draw it unless I mean to use it. Have Gun, Will Travel. Starring Mr. John Daner as Paladin. San Francisco, 1875, the Carlton Hotel, headquarters of a man called Paladin. Oh, good evening, Mr. Paladin. Good evening, George. My key, please. Yes, sir, Mr. Paladin. Good evening, Mr. Paladin. Oh, good evening, my dear. How nice to see you. Is it? Of course. Haven't you been avoiding me lately? <laughs> no, not at all. I've been out of town. Mr. Paladin! Mr. Paladin! Over here, hey, boy. Uh, you'll pardon me, my dear, but wait for me in the lounge. Well, if you don't take too long. <laughs> I won't. Hello, hey, boy. Oh, yes, oh, Mr. Paladin. I look for you. I get you papers from all places in West, like always. Uh, fine. Put them in my room. I'll be up later. Uh, right now, there's oh, a young I lady think something waiting. you want to see in this journal from New Mexico. Oh. I mark. Uh, yeah. You read. Huh. Yeah, it looked like they need Mr. Paladin and his gun, eh? Yes, maybe so, hey, boy. <laughs> uh, get me pen and paper. Oh, yes, sir. Right away. Good, good, good. You send cards, say, have gun, we'll travel. <laughs> Dandruff bothers most men, most women too, so listen. Today you can get rid of embarrassing dandruff in just three minutes. Yes, with Fitch Dandruff Remover Shampoo, unsightly dandruff's gone in three minutes. It's the quickest, easiest of all leading shampoos. That's not all. Using Fitch regularly is guaranteed to keep embarrassing dandruff away. Simply apply in the unique Fitch manner. Before you wet hair, rub in one minute. This way, Fitch shampoo penetrates right down to the scalp. Next, add water. Lather one minute to wash every trace of dandruff out of your hair. Then rinse one minute. All that loosened dandruff goes down the drain. In three minutes, with Fitch, one rubbing, one lathering, one rinsing, dandruff's gone. And never forget, gentle Fitch can also leave your hair up to 35% brighter. To get rid of dandruff problems forever, brighten hair too, use Fitch regularly. Get Fitch Dandruff Remover Shampoo today, only 59 cents. Uh, I'll get it, Mr. Reed. Oh, never mind. I could still walk to my own door. Well? My name is Paladin. I got your wire. Wire? What wire? Well, your name is Jesse Reed. Uh, what about her? You and 20 of your men tried to take the town of Perdido below the border in Mexico. And only five of you came back, not in very good shape. Mm. I see that you're still hobbling on one leg. Uh, yeah, well, come on in. Thank you. Now, how, uh, how do you know so much? I saw it in the San Francisco papers. And I sent you a card. Like this one. Huh? Have gun, will travel. Wire Paladin, San Francisco. But I sent no wire. I have it right here. Gotch? Yes, sir, Mr. Reed. Do you send this man a wire? I figured maybe Mr. Paladin could help us, Mr. Reed. At least till he was able to set a horse again. Oh. You're a fast gun, huh? Fast enough. What do you figure you can do for me? Dave Enderby's wanted for murder, and he's holed up in an outlaw town in Mexico. And more important, he took your daughter with him, and when he went after her, he ambushed your men and shot you. I guess you'd like to see him again. Yeah, but if I couldn't bring him back with 20 men, how do you think you'd do it all alone? There are all kinds of tactics, Mr. Reed. Uh, tactics? You one of them ex-army officers? Among other things. Uh, I know your breed. Got to have action and money. Which brings us to my fee. I didn't ask you here. I ain't paying nothing. For Dave Enderby delivered to you, breathing? Yeah. Uh, how much? $1,000. That gun comes high. It's a good gun. 
crafted to my own specifications. Ah, uh-huh. let me see it. Uh-huh. <laughs> now, what do you think of that? I ask a man for his gun and he gives it to me. <laughs> Why, you overdressed tin soldier, you'd have about as much of a chance with Dave Enderby as a, a ribbon clerk. I'll have my gun back, Mr. Reed. Or I'll put a hole between your eyes. This Derringer may not look as impressive, but it's just as effective at short range. Thank you. Now, what about Dave Enderby? A Derringer in your waistcoat. <laughs> You're a cool one. All right, then. You bring me Enderby alive and you'll get your thousand. But nothing on account, only my word. I don't ask anything more. Yeah. Enderby shot his first man when he was 15, in the back. That's where he tried to shoot me, and that's where he'll shoot you if he gets the chance. It's the only way he knows to fight. I'll remember. What do I do about your daughter? Uh, she went with him of her own free will. Let her stay. Mr. Reed. I said let her stay. All I want is Enderby. I'll get him. Uh, you're a fool, Paladin. You might get in, but you won't get out. The whole Mexican government can't get an outlaw out of Perdido. I couldn't, and you won't. We'll see. Good day, Mr. Reed. Welcome to Perido, senor. Senor, quite a welcoming committee. Do they always ring bells? To tell us a stranger is in the pass, it is guarded. Uh, I saw them. They didn't look very friendly. Not every stranger is a friend, senor. My name is Paladin. And mine is O'Brien. Oh, I am the alcalde here. A red-headed Mexican with an Irish name? In Perdido, what matters is not a man's nationality, but his disposition. If he is, shall we say, is simpatico, then he is welcome. For as long as he can pay. It is a poor business, senor, that does not make a profit. You have uh, friends here, senor Paladin? I'm looking for senor Enderby. Can you tell me where to find him? He is usually in the cantina. Thank you. Oh, senor Paladin. Yes? I must tell you about our bed. If it rings when one leaves Perido, that one is always met in the past. Stay with us, senor, and be comfortable. And when you leave... I hope the bell does not ring for you. Good day, Senor O'Brien. Hey, what you... Senor, don't shoot. The knife was not meant for you. Oh. That's a fast draw, mister, but you can holster your gun. We only thrown at that circle on the wall beside you. Like this. Well, amigo, I win again. <laughs> Your pleasure, senor. Huh? Oh, tequila. Here, senor. You've been thrown at a man, amigo. You'd be dead now. <laughs> I do not miss when it is a man. Double the bet, then? We'll see, but this time I use your knife. Hand it over, amigo. I permit you to use mine. Hey, senores. There is one law in Perido. We do not fight each other. Well, now, I thank you for reminding me. I ain't going to be the one to spoil the fun. Go ahead, amigo. Throw. Dead center. It was a good... Look out. Alto, senor. You tried to cut me in the back. Just letting you know, I don't mind giving something away, but nobody takes nothing from me. Nothing. Here's your knife, amigo. Big. <laughs> He'll know better next time. Enderby. How do you know my name? I had a good description of you, of how you fight. I've come looking for you. For me? Mm-hmm. Seems I have to take you back across the border. That so? Julio. <laughs> that is still against your neck, senor. So don't try anything or you will not leave, eh? Now I'll take that gun of yours, mister. You won't be needing it anyway. No, because I can't shoot you. I don't get paid unless I bring you back breathing. Who to? Jesse Reed. That old vinegaroon still alive and kicking? Very much so. He wants you alive. What's your name, mister? 
Paladin. You want me to take care of him, Senor Enderby? Nah, let him go, Julio. He ain't got a chance. Go enough, Senor. Thank you. You know, I'd like to meet the young lady who caused all this. Nancy? Sure, why not? Nancy, get a real boot out of you. Come on, Mr. Paladin. Like a season ticket to the ballpark, CBS News admits you to every major event going on. Please note, too, that where CBS News is concerned, the world is the stadium, and the season of excitement knows no end. Regular features like our World News Roundup broadcast seven mornings a week on CBS Radio, and its evening counterpart, The World Tonight, heard nightly over most of these same stations, make you spectator to the most spectacular events of our time. They take you right to where the news is happening, let you learn the details from experts who've watched the news develop. Every morning on CBS Radio, join CBS News correspondents on the World News Roundup for reports from the major news centers of the world. Every evening, let the world tonight take you to the scene of the news for on-the-spot reports and lively interviews with people in the news. No matter what is happening, no matter where it's happening, you'll be well informed if you follow the story on CBS Radio every time. Ah, excellent coffee, Mrs. Enderby. Served on excellent china in a delightful patio. You must be very happy here. Tell him, honey. I am. I see. My father wasn't honest with you, Mr. Paladin. All he wanted was to set you against Dave. Did he tell you the way everybody back home talked about Dave? And all those scrapes he got into? He was forced? You're raking me with them spurs again. If you think you're going to turn me against Dave... He came for me, honey. Your daddy don't even want to see you again. That's true. He doesn't care if he ever sees me again. How do you know? She knows her old man. Got a high thick as alligator. Dave. You managed to put some lead into that tough hide. He what? Now, don't you believe that, honey. I told the boys to let your daddy be. I saw him right away without a scratch. And your father saw Dave bushwhack him. Now, honey, don't that prove he'll say anything to split us? You've got quite a problem, Nancy. Who's the liar? Your husband or your father? Dave's wild, but he's no murderer. <laughs> if I'd done half the things folks say, I... I've been dancing at the end of a rope long ago. There's still time. Dave, he's trying to make you fight. Don't let he him. He has to fight. Or come along with me. He's got my gun, but still he won't fight. He's yellow. It's not true. If you had a belly for fighting, you'd have finished off that fellow in the cantina. You'd have finished me. But you couldn't, because we were face to face with you. Shut up. You, you're a rotten little coward. You can only bushwhack men. Stab or shoot him in the back. Are you... Dave! I... He's only knocked out. He'll wake up soon enough. I wish he'd killed you. But he didn't. Now... What are you doing? Just getting my gun back. And no, stop. I'll have to finish it. No, no, please. I have a chance of getting out of Perdido alive otherwise. Don't kill him, don't. I'll do anything you say, please. Help me get out of Perdido. Come with me through the pass. All right. No trouble, no tricks. I have your word. Yes, you have my word. All right, let's go. <laughs> I'll turn back here. You're almost out of the path. A little farther. I can still see the guards. You're perfectly safe now. I got you out of Perdido. Nancy, why don't you come back with me? You're crazy. You're wrong about your father. He wants you back. You've hurt him, but he loves you. Why not come back with me? No. You'd rather stay in Perdido with Enderby? Yes. Then I'll have to take you... Stop it. Let go of the rain. Don't worry. If he really loves you, he'll come after you. He'll... Sounds like he's worked himself free. And you will soon be sorry you ever saw Perdido. You'll have to catch us first. Yeah! Yeah! Come on! Are we going to ride all night? The idea is to lose Dave, isn't it? We go on. Uh, please! Shall we slow down? After we cross the Rio Grande. Please, can't we stop and rest? I guess we can. He'll be catching up with us about now. Between the two of us, we've left a clear enough trail. Between the two 
Marvelous. You think I didn't notice you dropping things along the way? If the trail was any longer, you'd have had a problem in modesty. Come on. We'll make camp here and have breakfast. You wanted him to follow us. Of course. I don't get paid without him. Time was when the sedan chair was considered the height of luxury. When you think of all the places you go and all the things you now do by radio, a sedan chair doesn't seem like much of a luxury at all. Tuned to a radio network like the CBS Radio Network, you can, in a matter of moments, travel to foreign capitals to learn what's happening to individuals or whole nations at a time. Because a network like CBS Radio is made up of many stations, stations like the one you're listening to now, the smartest supper clubs from New York to San Francisco invite you to dance to the music of their big-name bands night after night. Because CBS Radio's vast network facilities extend in every direction, you can laugh with the funniest comedians in Hollywood or on Broadway. Then move on to a serious discussion of space-age problems, and all in the course of an evening. By all means, use that sedan chair if you have one. But if you want to go places fast, Take CBS Radio along. Have some more bacon? No? You simply used me to bring him out of Perdido. No. Let's say I accomplished two purposes with one action. To take you back to your father where you belong... And to get Enderby to the gallows where he belongs. There's more of your lies about my father still warning me about Dave shooting him. Dave tried to shoot him in the back, the way he'll try to shoot me, now that he is here. What do you mean? He's up there in the rocks behind me, isn't he? How did you know? I've been watching your eyes, depending on them to warn me. Now, if you... No, Dave! See how he works? If there's a way of crawling around to a man's back, he finds it. You're wrong. Besides, I don't care how he does it, just so he kills you. But that last shot might have killed you. You're crazy. He's my husband. He came after me. Not because he loves you, but because nobody takes anything away from him. He doesn't know. He thinks... Dave! Dave, I didn't leave you. He forced me. Come and get him. You get down. You wasted your breath. He won't come. He won't face a fair fight even for you. You're wrong. I'll prove it. All right. Enderby. Here I come. All right, Enderby. You've got a good shot at me now. And so have I at you. You want to finish it? You're welcome to try. No. No, I give up. Dave, are you all right? Listen, Paladin, I'll make a deal with you. It's really her the old man wants, not me. You take her and let me go. Dave! What about it, Paladin? No deal. I'll take you both. Cox! Cox! Yes, sir, Mr. Reed. Someone just rode into the yard. You better get outside there. And... Mr. Paladin. And Enderby. Delivered. Breathing. Well, not for long. Wait, wait, you can't shoot me. I got a right to a hear it. Mr. Reed. Just a minute, Mr. Reed. One thousand dollars first. I like things orderly. A bank draft will do. Yeah. Well, I have it all written out. There! There's your blood money, bounty hunter. Now, get out. Thank you for sticking to the letter of our agreement. I'll do the same. You did. I paid you. <laughs> hey, give me my gun. I didn't agree to become an accessory to murder. You're in cahoots, the two of you. Suckered me for a thousand, gonna ride off laughing. Not day. The law will take care of him. And you figure to pick up the reward, too. Nope. That belongs to Nancy. To Nancy? Outside. But there's no use bringing her in. You said you never wanted to see her again. She had the nerve to come back here, did she? I'll give her what for. Nancy! You come here! All right. Look up at me. Come on. 
Dad, you're, you're late. Oh, I'm all right. Are you sure? How do you feel? Well, how do you think I feel? But the daughter ain't got no more sense than to stand out here in the sun when she's got a house to go into. Now go on. You get to your room. You get washed up. You look like you've been in a stampede. Now go on. Get Nancy, girl. All right, Dad. Paradine, so happy to see you back in San Francisco. All okay. <laughs> Hello, hey boy. Oh, I brought lots of papers to your room, Mr. Paladin. And a uh, pretty lady leave letter. Oh? Well, it's nice to be home. No one we know of approves of wasting money. In spite of that, however, we Americans are often guilty of wasting our money by the uses we make of our government facilities. Take the operation of the post office, for example. Mostly out of habit, many offices and individuals post outgoing mail at the end of the day. In so doing, they leave post office employees with too little work to do at other times of the day. In addition, we forget to include zone numbers as part of the address. In both ways, we're slowing down the entire system for delivering mail and adding to the cost of our postal operation. The problem is simple enough to solve. Start solving it tomorrow. If you will arrange to post letters and packages earlier in the day and include zone numbers on the return address as well as the outgoing address, you'll help our post office operate more efficiently for you and at less cost, too. Remember, for faster, more economical service, mail early in the day and include zone numbers. Gun will travel. Created by Herb Meadow and Sam Rolfe, is produced and directed by Norman McDonough, and stars John Daner as Paladin, with Ben Wright as Hayboy. Tonight's story was written by Sam Rolfe and adapted for radio by John Dunkel. Featured in the cast were Paul Dubov, Gene Bates, Joseph Kearns, William Allen, Don Diamond, Howard Culver, and Lillian Byatt. Hugh Douglas speaking. Join us again next week for Have Gun, Will Travel. Thank you for listening to Good Old Radio. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the world. Thank you. See you next time.